There she is, Meng Wanzhou, silent today as she made a brief appearance in a Vancouver court. What she's ultimately waiting for is her extradition hearing. Yesterday, U.S. authorities laid out their case against Meng and her company, Huawei, with a long list of charges, including fraud and conspiracy. And those charges, in writing, raise serious new questions about China's aggressive posture on the world stage and, to put it simply, whether Huawei can be trusted. The security concerns are real. And as Katie Simpson explains, so is the growing pressure on Canada to act. Leaders of America's national security agencies were summoned to Capitol Hill to outline the biggest threats facing the U.S. today. On that list, China and its telecom giant Huawei. They have to decide they're either going to be a worldwide telecommunications company or an agent of the Chinese government. They can't be both. The uh, Chinese counterintelligence threat is more deep, more diverse, more vexing, more challenging, more comprehensive and more concerning than any counterintelligence threat I can think of. The U.S. has already banned Huawei from being part of its 5G network. The wireless technology will allow more information to move faster. But the fear is the Chinese government will use the company's technology to spy. The U.S., Australia, New Zealand and Japan have banned Huawei. The U.S. has threatened to withdraw intelligence sharing if Canada doesn't do the same. When will this Prime Minister ban Huawei? The Public Safety it's, Minister it's, says uh, he needs more time to decide. There are, there are issues that need to be resolved uh, and uh, we will uh, uh, not telescope the decision-making process. Happy to guard your secrets with my... Huawei has an established presence in this country, with ads on Hockey Night in Canada and partnerships with nearly half a dozen Canadian universities. The company adamantly denies it is a conduit for spying. I'm not going to own a Huawei phone. I'm not sure we should have them in our 5G network either. This former director of Canada's spy agency says Ottawa should block Huawei, despite threats of retaliation from Beijing. Uh, the bigger challenge will be to what extent the Chinese, irritated by our decision to ban Huawei equipment, uh, would, would um, take retribution. The Huawei decision is another example of Canada's global dilemma. Banning the company means Ottawa sides with its traditional ally in Washington, but scuttles any hope of new opportunity in Beijing while worsening already strained diplomatic ties. Katie Simpson, CBC News, Ottawa.